This is the man who invited white nationalist Richard Spencer to speak at Texas A&M University. Preston Wigginton knows it will be controversial. He knows most people don't want this event to take place. What do you think of Richard Spencer? Um, I think he has some valid points. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! The Nazi-era wording, the Nazi-era imagery, at this gathering in Washington, D.C., upsetting to so many. Wigginton, a political activist who lives in Texas, says he doesn't agree with all of Spencer's views, but he certainly does some of them. Do you think this is a white nation? I think it was at one time, and I think that uh, the reaction of Trump being elected and the reaction that's going on with the alt-right being popular is a reaction to it uh, declining and being a white nation. Wigginton says he doesn't like to label himself, but says he is sympathetic to the point of view of the so-called alt-right, a relatively new term for what in the past were simply called white supremacists. Why would I want to see America become less white? Why would I want to be displaced and marginalized? Here's, only, here's the thing. Okay. Only people with a mental illness want to be displaced but and here's, marginalized. Here's the thing. You and people like you have this hang-up about the color of people's skin. What's the difference what color people's skin are? It, what matters is the kind of people they are. So why does it matter the pigment of their skin? It's not just pigment. What is it? What is, people's behavior, people's IQ, people evolve over different okay. times and different places. There are lots, people there, there are lots, lots of the There are lots of white people with low IQs. There are lots of black people with high IQs. There but, are lots of red people with low IQs and high IQs. Everyone's different. You're stereotyped. And so my question is, don't better you Better the devil that? I know than the devil I don't. Texas A&M does not want this event to happen and has officially rejected Richard Spencer's views, but says it cannot ban the event because this is a public university. A number of students who oppose Spencer's visit have organized what is expected to be a large demonstration. They pledge to keep it peaceful. We have a responsibility to take measured action to counter white nationalism, white supremacy. Yeah, I think there's going to be outside agitators, by all means. Wigginton, who is a former A&M student, is mentioned on the website of the Southern Poverty Law Center, a monitor of hate groups, which says he has declared he wants to prevent the populations of white nations from becoming what he has termed a homogeneous muddle of sludge. Wigginton says he was misquoted, but doesn't deny the point of the quote, and says there is a way to make America more white. A ban on immigration, if not a strict curve on immigration, I don't think that you can bring Somalians into America and expect them to assimilate. It's a completely different culture. It just doesn't happen. But some Somalians can, right? Oh, I would be very selective on that. I think we just freely let too many of anybody see, that's, into that's, America. That's what prejudice is, though, is that you're saying they should all not come. Well, you know, when you... There, you are, bad people, there are bad people who absolutely should not be in this country from all nationalities, all creeds, all religions. But by saying that all Somalis shouldn't come here, isn't that being a bigot? Um, Sometimes maybe being a bigot is wise. 